Okay? Very good. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to load from here. And we're going to get... So we just did stay. So we're going to go. We're going to go now. We're going to get Gia ending two. Because I think there's two endings per character. Thank you for giving me this chance to leave things as they are. But even so, if there really is something in here and my other self finds it, you tell me, won't you? <clears throat> okay, so let's get out of here. Leaving already, are we? Oh, that's a really quick one. There are better uses of my time tonight. Well then, don't let me stop you, dear. I have this pervasive feeling of having either just dodged a bullet or a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <clears throat> we move silently through the hallways, two silhouettes holding hands in the night as they run home. The grip of her fingers on mine is everything, telling me that once we get there, maybe, just maybe, if we drink, we'll be safe. Uh-oh. The room is tinted red. That means blued is about to happen. I think both of us just exhaled the several gallons of breath that we were holding. Phew! Finally, we made it. We're safe. Don't let your guard down. Well, I'm sorry. So do I want... Because technically, Boy Mailberg doesn't know that she got murdered um, in a alternate dimension. So she doesn't know that. So she's not going to tell Gia to let her guard down. She has no reason to suspect anything. So she's going to apologize. It's fine. Forget about it. I don't want to talk about whatever just happened. It, it doesn't matter why you broke into the headmaster's office, and I don't want to know. She collapses face first onto her bed. Let's just, like, go back to eating candy, please? All right. Maybe that would be for the best, to just put what happened in the office behind us. Though I'm surveying our stash right now, and honestly, there's not much left. It's kind of impressive how much we ate. Oh, jeez. I thought we had more. Uh, don't worry. I can fix this. I have other candy. She's going to pull out, like, fucking Percocet. She's opening drawer after drawer, presumably searching for candy. But now, she stopped dead. What did she find in that one? I... She's crying. Why is she crying? Sorry, just, like, give me a minute. She takes out what looks like half a box of peppermint patties. Sorry, boy. Turns out I do actually have mint candy. That betraying bitch... She said she didn't have... She totally did it. I don't care if one of her endings is where she didn't kill me. She did it. But we can't eat these. They're not mine. That's disappointing, because I love patties. But seriously, what's wrong? These patties, they were... Are my old roommates. She used to eat them all the time. I didn't realize she'd left them behind. You know, G has mentioned her former roommate a couple of times, but never what happened to her. From the way she's behaving right now, though, it doesn't sound like it was anything good. I really don't want to talk about it. Or, you know what? Maybe I do. All night, I bet you've been wondering, like, why is Gia so scared that something bad might happen to me? Well, I'll tell you about Aqua. My old Aqua. I'm going to call her Aqua. My old roommate, and maybe then you'll understand. She's not dead or anything, don't worry, as far as I know. You can look her up, and she's still a student here. But I haven't seen her at all since, like, last December. Not a word of communication. And we were really close friends, too. We roomed together all last fall, and during junior year as well. We met originally because we were here on the same scholarship, you know? She understood what it was like. A lot of the other kids here don't. Our scholarship is pretty strict, actually. We have to keep a 3.9 GPA or above and never ever get in trouble. It's a really, really odd scholarship demand. And that it makes sense. You've got to be academically good, and you can't be, like, going to jail. So this murder's really going to look bad on your scholarship opportunities, isn't it? And stuff like live in a stable household with good parents, and we have to write research papers about Evco each year? What? You better have a good, you better have a mom and dad who love you, or else we're not giving you any money to go to school. But I guess Aqua never let that bother her. She was so outgoing, she did everything. Then, two months ago, on the night she disappeared, she left this voicemail on my phone. I still have it saved. She hands me her phone with a pair of earphones attached. Use these. I don't want to hear it again. 
The voicemail is dated 12-12-13, 11.53 p.m., the night before my father died. I press play. <clears throat> Gia, Gia, call me when you get this, okay? No matter when you get this, because I really need to talk with you, and I am in deep, deep... Oh, that's an expletive. Shit right now, I think. Sh oh, she said it again. Shit, I was really hoping you'd pick up. I don't know who else to call. Uh, just so you know, if I don't see you again, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I would have gone through with the murder of Boy Mailbird's father, but I, I can't. She's starting to cry, and now I can understand why Gio wouldn't want to listen to this over and over again. Just ask Werner Hortzog. He'd be like, you'll need to destroy this. A lot of stuff is going to change tomorrow, so don't be like me, okay? Don't get involved. Y you were right about him. I don't have time to explain, but I think I saw something I wasn't supposed to see. Don't believe. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what? what happened? Was that her phone falling? More importantly, what did I just listen to? What made her scream like that? Wait a minute, Gia just said, like, you can still look her up. She's like a student here. She not, nothing bad happened. She clearly just got mugged. The next day, some people came and took her stuff away. When I asked why, they just said she was moving out. I even went to the office asking what happened, but no one would give me a straight answer. And then, uh, that thing happened with your dad, so I kind of dropped it. But I know that Aqua would never have left the school without saying goodbye. Something happened to her after she left that voicemail. Something awful. I know it. Somethingawful.com slash forums slash Photoshop dash Friday. With a PH instead of an F. I don't want that to happen to you, because even if you're beautiful and powerful, your boy Mailberg, they'll do it to you too. I am boy Mailberg, aren't I? So we both just need to keep quiet and mind our own business to survive for just four more months until we graduate. Unfortunately, I'm not the kind of person who minds my own business. I truly wish I was. What could Aqua have been out doing on that night? where leaving that voicemail became necessary. Was she like me, breaking into an office where she didn't belong? I need to know what happened. I don't even want to think about what might have happened, but, like, I, I don't know, it, it probably had something to do with him. And you shouldn't look into it, but if you're gonna... I'm talking about Crispin, from the student council. Oh, wow, I did not expect that. Yeah, in this game with only five possible suspects, one of our possible suspects is kind of suspicious. How was he involved? Did they know each other? I don't know. I don't think they were friends or anything, but it was always hard to tell whether Aqua was just pretending to like someone as a joke or not. Like me! But she was really interested in him for some reason, probably because of his family. She always loved getting involved in everyone's business. She won his date last year's at last year's Valentine's auction, but I don't think she liked him or anything. It was just morbid curiosity, since no one else ever bids. But after that, I don't know what happened. It was like she just had to learn everything about him and his sister. She had a little ironic conspiracy board in her room. You know, Gia's hair is the same color as Crispin's, I think? And her eyes aren't exactly pink, but they look like they could be a shade of red. Which is, uh, also in the pink family. Hmm. Hmm. She really had to dig, too, since there's not a lot of personal information out there about them. Her, especially. I told her it was a bad idea. She knew how dangerous it was. The kind of people who get to be president of student council are just from a completely different world than us. I was actually friends with the student council president at the school I went to. Uh, well, I shouldn't say friends, but, like, friendly. We talked. She signed my yearbook. She's like, I hope you have a good summer and have a nice life. And, I mean, she's not watching right now, but thanks, Erin. I did. <laughs> they kind of, they're from a completely different world. She should have known that. Crispin might look like a living, breathing human being, but I just can't believe that anymore. He's an alien. He's an alien. Oh, I hope he's a gray alien. That would be, oh, my God, be still my heart. I've got to I've gotta go after Crispin next. If he's an alien, I, he's got to be the next dating option. Not after I asked him if he'd seen Aqua and he just looked right through me. 
I have to admit, she's not making Crispin look very good right now. So do you get it now? Why I was so scared for you? I could have gotten another voicemail tonight, and it would have been yours. I appreciate her worrying about me, but I don't think that would happen. Why not? Just because you're the former headmaster's daughter? How in the world would that stop you from getting hurt? You think Aqua's missing because her parents don't care, or because they don't have enough sway to make a fuss? No, it's because they don't even know she's gone. Yeah, no one told her. <laughs> she doesn't call she doesn't call anymore. She doesn't send any messages. She's not on any type of social media. Like if I stopped posting on Twitter or Facebook, like my parents would immediately know something is wrong. He hasn't uploaded a YouTube video in a day. Chris is dead. <clears throat> so whatever you're thinking of doing about this, stop it right now. I just want to spend my last few months of high school with you in peace. Because there's not a whole lot else we can do. No, there has to be something. I can't accept this. No, there's nothing. I know it's like awful feeling of helplessness, isn't it? You're always so ready to do something, boy. To step out of line. Maybe that's why I like you so much. She rests her head on my shoulder. But I'm not strong at all. A weird self-loathing going on right now? <laughs> Whenever I don't post on Skype or Discord, you immediately assume I've died. Thanks, Gray. I appreciate it. <laughs> Send the search party if I don't message you. You know where I live. <clears throat> but I'm not strong at all. I'm afraid of everything. That's not true. No, it is. It's okay for you to admit. Hey, boy, do you think we could just kiss again and not talk anymore? I want to shut you up with my mouth. We could definitely do that. You know what, string puller? I think I'm going to cut you off for just a little while. All this time, I just haven't been able to shake the sense that this moment I broke into that office, I released something terrible. So I want to get in as much time as I can tonight with Gia as the me who left progress behind before I have to deal with those consequences. Does that make sense? It probably doesn't, but that's just me when it comes to cute girls. But you'll definitely hear from me again in an hour or two, or at least by tomorrow morning. Then I'll be working my hardest to find Aqua. She's out there somewhere. I know she is. And I can't just leave any of this alone after seeing how badly it's tormented Gia. But if I don't come back at all, and I'm sure I will, but just in case you don't hear from me, well, never mind, that's not going to happen. I'll talk to you later, okay? And then Boy Mailberg died on the way back to her home planet. Good night, string puller. Oh. Good night. Oh, there was a knock, knock, knocking at the door. That's an ending? She die in her sleep? Well, we got Gia ending two. Called the voicemail. So, that means we're gonna load... Well, we're gonna load here. I did save my progress here. Which is good. We've got the two... We got the two Gia endings. And I think, actually since I know this is where we're going to start next time, I think this is where we're going to wrap it up. Um, for tonight, 